What if I told you this simple homemade device can see invisible static electricity? Let me show you how to make one. So here is the finished product and it's actually really simple. So first off, it's just a jar. Then what I have here is a couple of pieces of foil. They're cut to the same size. Then this is a copper wire. I've actually twisted some thin copper wire. That's all I had together to make it thicker. Um, but then I've just twisted around in that sort of pattern. This is just to increase surface area. And then there's a little hook on the end, which is what's allowing the foil to hang on the end there. And then this is actually from a pen. That's just what the, the ink is in. I've snipped off the end, just so it's a little plastic tube for me. You can also use a lollipop tube and other things like that. And then this is just some plastic with a hole in the middle. And then all of it just sits in the jar and I have blue tack to hold it down, but you can use tape or whatever you want. And that's all there is to it for the build. So now's the fun part, actually showing you what it does. So it's called an electroscope, and all it does is detect the presence of an electric charge in an object. So I have here a balloon, I'm gonna rub it on my head. So this is a classic way to get static electricity. And then when I bring it close, See that? So I'm not touching anything, but the foil is actually separating. So I bring the balloon close and look at it. That is so cool. So without touching anything, I can cause that foil, those foil leaves to move and pull apart from each other. Wow. So this is called electrostatic induction. And let me tell you a little bit more about that. When I rub the balloon on my hair, it actually strips electrons. It takes them from me and adds them to the balloon. So the balloon becomes negatively charged because electrons are negatively charged particles. And so when I bring the balloon close to the copper wire in the jar, the negatively charged balloon pushes electrons in the copper away from it because like charges repel each other. And this forces excess electrons into the foil leaves hanging on the wire. And again, because like charges repel, the foil leaves push away from each other. It's like if you had two magnets and tried to force the north side of each of them together. No matter what, they just won't stick. And that's exactly what's happening with the foil leaves. So let me show you one last cool demonstration with this. I have here a plastic pen casing. And I'm gonna rub this on my hair again to give it some more electrons. Okay, so this is charged now. And the difference is I'm going to actually touch the copper wire. I'm going to do it a few times. Okay, you can see that. So you can see there is a separation between the foil leaves there. Now the difference is it wasn't electrostatic induction with the balloon. The balloon I didn't make contact with the copper wire. Um, in this case I did make contact and so what I'm actually doing is giving the excess electrons from this pen lid to this. And so the foil leaves become both negatively charged and because of that they repel. But now watch what happens when I touch the system here, the copper wire. There it is. Did you see those foil leaves come in together? So what happened there was because I'm standing on the ground, I actually gave the electrons, the excess electrons in this, a place to go. That was through me and then into the ground. And so what happened was the electroscope became neutral. There was no more excess of electrons in there because they went into me and through me. And so the foil leaves fall back together. 
So I thought that was a pretty cool demonstration. That's not electrostatic induction, this is charging by conduction. So that is so cool. There's a couple of demonstrations there about charging by conduction and electrostatic induction using a glass jar and a bit of foil. And check out this video here where I put a light bulb in a microwave and it produced plasma. But otherwise, if you did enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos like this. 